Welcome back to Grow Strength and X. Those of you that are new, welcome to our fitness channel. We are professional trainers and strength coaches. We also mix around in many other sports as well. So stay tuned if you want some good informational content on fitness and diets. Recently, we've been going over the strength, uh, sorry, muscle series, not the strength series, that's the next to come. next series. So be, be, stay tuned. Stay yeah, tuned. stay tuned. So we have been building some big ass muscles over the past few weeks. We've covered biceps, triceps, shoulders yeah. and back. And today is what many people consider the most important part, is a big chest. Big juicy chest. Oof. If you have missed those previous videos, we're going to put that into a series and it's going to be up. Which side is it? Uh, the series will be at the very end of the video. But it will be up this side. Up this side. That side. So, yeah. Yeah, somewhere. We'll, we'll put last week's video, which will be the back. In there. In there. In the air. It's in the cloud. Yes. If you want big muscles, you don't just want to work on the bro science of it all, just doing chest and arms, but obviously chest, having a big chest is very good. So you want to build a big back as well, you'll build that base. So definitely check out the previous video. Uh, but in the meantime, we want to show you three, that's three exercises. That's the three of the best exercises in our opinion, of course, that are generally used for building a big chest. Now, what are the three rules, my friend? The three rules are, number one, form over everything. Form yes. is everything. Key. Exercise two, or well, sorry, rule number two. <laughs> oh yeah, sorry, I'm talking to me. I'm talking to, I'm talking to me? You're talking to me? I'm talking to you. Uh, progressive overload. So, of course, when you build that foundation of the form, uh, the first thing you should do is focus on form, especially for beginners. Make sure that you've at least got a decent form before you do progressive overload, because we don't want you to injure yourself. In the videos later on, we will show you how the form is done and how you can get onto progressive overload. That's eight to 10 reps. You've got to do, uh, if you, you've got a lagging muscle, you can do exercises twice a week on the same muscle. And if you're really lagging behind three times a week, there's no perfect routine. There's the one that works best for you. And rule number three. Good, so you've got your form sorted, you're happy with your progressive overload, your rep range is nailed. The next thing is the one that's always missing, nutrition. Nutrition. So when you're looking to build muscle or even strength, you need to be at least in a calorie maintenance if not a calorie surplus. So you're eating more food than your body needs per day. So it's got enough nutrition, enough, just enough building blocks to get that muscle as big as we can get it. Now this is the biggest breaking point for most people. The reason why they don't put on size is because of their diet or their poor diet. Uh, so we will go over a calorie surplus and a uh, calorie maintenance range for people who are trying to put on strength and size in the next video before we move on to the strength phase. Because without this, I'm not saying that it's pointless going to the gym, it's just that the results will be severely diminished. So we recommend, if you haven't already, to subscribe and make sure that notification bell is checked because you don't want to miss out on that next video. It's going to be the most important one. So we've set the foundation of all the body parts and the nutrition is going to be vital. So check it out. Yes, every week we're going to have something more and more important. So just mm. keep subscribed, keep, oh, keep sharing. And also make sure when you do click that notification bell, you watch every single one of our videos and share them too. All right, should we get to it? Yes. Let's do it. So the first exercise we want to do to build the foundation is the dumbbell press. We're doing this flat, you can do this incline as well, depends where your muscles are lagging. We're doing this instead of the barbell because the barbell is generally conventionally best for strength and we tend to find that when you're doing a dumbbell press, you're able to get a little bit lower so there's a little bit more stretch through the chest and it requires a little bit more stability needed so your chest works a little bit harder. So for us, this is a better exercise to do. When lowering it down, you want to lift it lower a slight turn angle like you can see what Luke's doing here so slightly turn so it protects the shoulders and what you want to do is press it straight up and bring those dumbbells together but don't allow them to touch so this is the best exercise for first eight to ten reps is perfect so form rules I do not want to see you just go flat on that bench you want to have a natural arch in your back so this is just where you go flat as you can see here the chest is just completely flat so we're going to redo it. We're going to pull our scapula back and push our shoulders down. 
We want a nice neutral back, so our back is lower back is slightly off the bench, but our hips are down. That way it protects our shoulders and we're getting more stretch through the chest. As you can see there, the chest is a lot more pronounced now, so your sternum is a lot higher up. So you want to be able to press it with the chest fully, fully contracted. Also, you want to stabilize through some big ass lats. So check out our previous video. Ha <laughs> ha! We're moving on to incline machine press. So the reason we're doing a machine is because it isolates that muscle a lot better. So you can switch between incline and flat machine, whichever your preference is. Again, I will point out that the reason I'm wearing gloves and have a dodgy grip is because I've got a huge blister on my hand that exploded. So don't judge. Uh, keeping that same dumbbell form, we want to keep that chest squeezed at the top and then controlling that weight all the way down. Big squeeze, fully extending those arms and then remember not to lose tension at the bottom. You just always keep in control. Wow. Moving on to cable flies. Now the reason we do cable flies over dumbbells is two reasons. First of all, it's because it adds extra resistance to the movement. So that negative part of the movement has a lot more resistance, which can build as much muscle as the positive part of the movement. So that contraction there, that big squeeze, and then that negative part down. The second reason we do this is because it is safer. So you can load more weight on the res a cable resistance than you can on the dumbbells under a safe form. We will point out that you need to make sure that weight is not too heavy, that it compromises your form and then does become unsafe. So 16 sets per week, it, research shows is optimal for muscle growth. So you break that down into two workouts per week, averaging about three exercises per workout. That's more than enough to build that muscle. Any more than that is going to affect your recovery time. So when it comes to doing your second workout, your muscles aren't fully recovered, which affects the workout itself and again can impact that muscle growth. Once you've done your three exercises, we recommend switching to a secondary lagging muscles for a further two or three exercises. So, after watching that video, I'm expecting some huge chests. By just watching the video, your chest will be multiplied largely, I reckon. 2,500 um, times. Yeah, see it huge, just walking around. <laughs> uh, if you have any questions about those exercises or that video, we recommend asking at Kleenex because we're just pretending here, aren't we? Well, we'll get you some Pamela Anderson tips, but uh, yeah. we will, if you if you want the fundamentals, obviously Athlean is the way forward. Stay. Stay here, stay here. <laughs> Watch this space. He's still good though. <laughs> not, not, yeah. not, not him. <laughs> Don't kill us <laughs> the next times. We actually really respect that guy, so yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that's it from us, guys. Is it? So it is, I think. Oh, you're gonna miss us. No, yeah, could get back next week. Click like if you're gonna miss it. Or dislike, but Yeah, just just do something. Just do something. Okay, yeah. activity. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that. Yeah, so we'll see you next week for nutrition. Goodbye. Cheshire. Cheshire.